this is Josie and today's video will focus on the events page of machine and as always I like to say thank you to all the subscribers that are starting to come on the channel and to the regular subscribers that have been asking a lot of questions I hope I've been helpful in answering them as quickly as I can and thank you for checking out my channel so yeah let's do it we'll get back to it um, events it can be a kind of funny page in the machine software, but we're going to try to make it simple today and very easy to move around because it's actually pretty cool to um, do stuff with the controller instead of just sitting in front of the computer and moving the mouse around. No knocking on that. It could be cool too, but we want to focus on trying to use the controller more. So as always, I try to create a quick beat, um, very simple, quarter note, the easiest we can do just so we can get through the tutorial. There's just no rocket scientist stuff. You guys create amazing stuff. I've heard some of your stuff, so let's do it. So here I have a, pretty much a, a, a London kit in group one and some other kit in group two for percussion and just like a vocal sample. So all of them I kept one bar long. So here we go, pattern one is one bar long, the second one is one bar long, and that one is one bar long, because what we want to do is copy it and extend it in the events page. So on my controller here, as you guys will see, I am on the events already. I'm going to get out of there for a second, and I'm going to go to group one. I'm going to go to my pattern, and my pattern is one. I can double that up, and it can copy it. Great, but that's not what this... Uh, whole tutorial is about. Well, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make the length of this two bars. I'm going to extend it to two bars and you guys will see it on the software moving to two bars. And now the second bar here as you can see is empty. There's nothing on there. So what I want to do is copy what's on bar one over to bar two using the events page. So here we go. I'm going to go to events. Okay. The first thing I want to do before I do anything on here is how does machine copy over and know where from bar one bar two what what grid is it following so the first thing we want to understand is the grid in machine so we're gonna go shift grid and here you'll see grid perform arrange and step I locked the grid mode so I can stay on this mode perform arrange and step we are going to be doing copying in the arrange so I'm going to hit the arrange window here and I'm gonna set it to 16th Okay, I'm going to take a look at my step as well, and I'm going to keep it at 16. I like it at 16, by the way. So once I've done that, I've told the machine, hey, I want to move around and be able to copy stuff, stuff in 16th notes. Okay, so most of the stuff we do is 16. Some people do 32nd. If you do 32nd, then obviously you're going to have to change that to be able to copy it at 32nd notes, by the way. But right now we did a very simple quarter kick in a 16 beat hi-hat or whatever so I'm gonna stick with 16 in my range okay I'm gonna get out of there and I'm gonna go back to events here okay and I want to select this whole section here so if we look over here these four knobs I'm gonna hit select up here and I'm going to select which one of these parts I want I have my kick my clap and I forgot what these other guys are I think it's a hi-hat or something else so I'm gonna just select them all I want to copy everyone. You see, they're all highlighted. It's saying we've selected from bar one to bar two, and now we want to copy it over to bar two. I'm going to take a shift here, and I'm going to move. See that? It's moving by 16 if you can see that, and that's what we wanted to do. So I'm going to put it on bar two because that's where I wanted to start. Okay? But what I didn't do when I selected this, by the way, sorry, I have to hit shift copy to copy them over, which is number the pad 11. Shift and pad 11 copy. Okay, once I've done that, I want to take this here and hold shift and turn the 4D encoder and get to bar 2 because that's where I wanted to start. Okay, I want to mention a quick thing here. If you guys take a look up here at the screen here, you'll see the numbers, the pad numbers from 1 to 16. If you're going to do the copy over, make sure it's on 1 because if you have it on 4, this is what it'll do when you paste it. Shift, paste, number 12. You see? it'll copy it to whatever is selected here. So we don't want to do that, okay? We want to shift undo that. We want to make sure that we are on that first one because we are copying from the first one, which is the kick, okay? I've moved it over here with this, the two. I'm going to hit shift, and I'm going to paste it there, and there you have it. We just copied bar one to bar two. It's that simple. Now I'm going to undo that, okay? 
And let's say, for example, I didn't want to copy all of these parts. So then I just deselect the ones I don't want to copy. I want to copy just to kick. Shift, copy my kick. Make sure that I am on bar two. Make sure that I'm on the first one up here. Shift, paste, and there you have it. Just to kick is copied, okay? So with that said, I'm gonna copy, I'm gonna undo this and I'm just gonna copy everyone over, okay? One more time. Select, make sure I selected them all. They were all copied. Shift. 11, move this guy over to bar 2, shift 12 pace, and they're all there, okay? So that's how we can copy uh, events. Events are pretty much notes, you know, so just keep that in mind. Now, if I wanted to, for example, now that I've copied them over, right, I'm going to select the kick there for a second, and I can do it by hitting the, hitting the kick, and it'll select all of them. Right? Or I can take this two knobs here and just be more specific and say, you know what? I'm just going to grab the first one. Or maybe the one in bar two. You see, and they're highlighted. You can see it's highlighted up here. And you can see it on the software as well. Okay, so we'll just take those two right there. As a matter of fact, let's take the, uh, the one on four. On beat four. Okay, and now I'm going to hit this select button and get rid of it. And it would allow me to turn up the velocity of that or down. You see that? So that's how you can go in there and really just change velocities and in individual notes. And I can also take that kick on beat 4 and move it over by the position here. You see that? And it's going to respect, remember, the grid setting, which is shift grid. And I'm in step mode now. So it's going to move by 16 bars. So keep that in mind. Your grid is very important when you're editing. Okay? So let's get out of the grid and go back to the events. So yeah, you can move that guy around. You can change the length of that node if you can see that. Make it bigger or smaller, which is pretty cool. Okay? And again, you can take that guy and copy it, you know, and move it anywhere else you want. I can shift, copy it. And say, okay, let's put that note. Maybe we'll do a pickup note here. And we'll do shift paste there. And then we'll lower the velocity of that one. Since it's more like a ghost note. Let's have a listen. See that? It's pretty cool. And we can probably add like a pickup snare somewhere. Let's find out what the snare is. Okay. Uh, let's select the snare. Was that the snare? Yeah, that was the snare. So we've selected the snare, and I, whoops, I'm moving all of them, you see, because they're all selected. I don't want that. I'm going to go back to my selection page here, and I'm just going to concentrate on the one that I want. Okay, we'll take the one on three, and I don't need the kick anymore, so I'm going to get rid of the kick. Okay, so I've selected the clap on three. I'm going to get out of there, and I'm going to copy that guy. Okay. I'm gonna pay, I'm gonna paste the pickup snare somewhere as well. We'll do one there, and we'll do shift paste. And now you see I copied the kick, so that's incorrect. Let's undo that, okay? And let's make sure that we are selected correctly there. That's good. Let's get out of there. Shift copy, and now let's paste it there. And the reason why it's copying it to one, because remember I told you guys, make sure that you're on the right one here. You see, I'm on one, so it's copying it to the kick. So that's great that that happened live. Let's do that undo, and let's put it on the right one, which is the second one there. Shift, paste. There we go. So yeah, the thing about the thing about this is that um, you want to make sure that it's a little misleading, you know, the so the events page. So there you have it. I copied it over, and let's bring the velocity down on that one. So those are ways that you can copy. I wanted to keep this video very simple just for the basics and there are a lot of other cool stuff that you can do on this page. You can quantize as you can see up here. Okay, you can select anything you want to quantize as well. I should have mentioned that. This is select and we can quantize everyone here. But we can select all here by the way or none. It's a fast way, shorter, uh, faster tools. Select them all, none. We can move up and down, you see here as well the way I was doing with the encoder. 
you can do it up here so we can select them all there once they're selected we hit the select button again and it'll give us quantize or clear it all we can quantize them or clear it all they're all gone shift undo to bring them back we know that if we don't want to follow the grid that we've set we can turn that off and when we move it won't be respecting any grid you see that it's not falling in time to the grid so that is a cool feature when you want to do like swing of stuff and things like that it I, I, I enjoy working uh, just nudging stuff and because it gives you cool swings you know you can get a hip-hop swing you can get a jazz swing a house swing and things like that so you should explore experiment a little bit without uh, maybe quantize without quantizing and moving some stuff around like hi-hats and things like that um, so yeah basically these are the basics of what we can do in the events page there are a lot of more cool stuff that you can do but for beginners um, this is a great way to get started and get going I hope it has been helpful and if you guys need any help as always write in the comments and thank you for supporting my channel please subscribe and share it does help me to continue to make videos and check out my website prettyhybrid.club I have free sounds for downloads I mean free <laughs> sounds yeah for download and just go check it out follow me on instagram pretty hybrid and uh, keep making that bag of music ciao josie